Hi guys, welcome to day three of our zoo school series. Today we are going to head over to one of our visitors' favorite animals in the zoo, the otters. Hi, I'm Jen, one of the keepers at the Cape May County Zoo, and I am here at our otter habitat. Our otters are over here. Here's Annie at the window. She is our 16-year-old otter, and Mork is just grooming her down there, and he is 11. Um, our North American River otters are highly adapted for swimming. Um, they have very sleek bodies, as you can see, with a strong tail to act kind of like as a rudder to go in directions and to swim along. Um, they actually can close their ears when they're diving, um, so they never get swimmer's ear. I think, personally, as a human, I would love to have that adaptation. And then also, they have a third membrane um, a, called a nictating membrane that goes across their eye, like goggles, when they swim. Um, so when you think about otters, um, you think about swimming. They love to swim in the rivers near us. So because they're North American river otters and you live around here near the zoo, they're gonna be right in your backyard. So what can you do to help the otters? Um, you can make sure to recycle um, all of your plastics as well as glass bottles and aluminum cans. And also keep your waterways clean. Um, Cause a lot of trash that's on the side of the roadways or um, near any rivers or the beach may end up in the waterways that they are swimming in. Um, so it's great to also volunteer for a beach cleanup or just help to clean up the side of your own road. Um, I'm also gonna show you now some of their training. So the keepers like to um, train the animals to get a good close eye on them and see um, how they're doing, make sure they don't have any um, cuts and we train the otters to come up here to the front of the window so um, the, the public could get a really great view of them. Um, so they're taught to target with their nose. Target. And then um, the whistle's called the bridge. It's telling them that they did um, the behavior correctly and then they get a reward. Today they're getting zoo smelt. This is just their normal fish they get in their diet. Here you go, Annie. And then also another behavior that we have taught our otters is to come back up to the window and then they're gonna hold. Hold. We did that behavior so you could get a longer look at them and then when you do visit the zoo, you can get pictures or spend some nice time with our otters if we're around. Um, otters are very active and they move around a lot and it's hard for them to hold still for a long period of time. So it's a great way to train that behavior. So going back um, into the swimming with the pool, you can see they're out in that area. Um, we do like to forage their diet and um, we will throw fish in the pool to encourage them to go in there. Another enrichment we like to do at home, some of you may like to play with the hose, put on the sprinkler in the summer. These guys love our hose, the hose in the pool. We'll put it in the pool and we'll twirl it all around and they'll chase the hose and they'll do flips in it. Um, we also encourage that behavior um, with other enrichment items. Um, some of their other toys that are small, like the buoy balls that are in there, they love to push them around the pool. I'm gonna feed them a couple more fish. You can see they, they can hold up to four or five fish in their mouth at a time. They're very highly adapted. They have a very strong bite force to really crush up all those bones. We give um, them other fish in the zoo, such as bunker and mackerel and trout and salmon, and even those bigger fish, they could crush the bones right up. We also feed them um, triple A, which is a ground beef mixture with cartilage and bones in it. In the wild, these otters can also eat 
um, small rodents and um, also birds and stuff like that as well. One of our other favorite treats um, are other things that float or can be played with in their pool. Um, we also give them apples. You guys probably know from bobbing for apples that uh, apples float and they push them around their pool and they, they crunch them up. But one of their favorite, favorite treats is hard boiled eggs. We use these for their induction training and we also throw them in the pool because it's a small object and usually they like to push it around before they take it out and eat it. You guys ready? You can see Mark actually brought the hard-boiled egg back into the pool to play with it. And he's flipping around over there and swimming around with it before he decides to eat it. These guys can um, be in many different temperature ranges. Um, they do all right in the summer. They like to swim a lot to cool off in the pool, but they also love the cooler months. Um, they're in here. Snow is one of their favorite things. They like to run and slide on their bellies to play in the snow. Um, and some of their pool will freeze and they'll play with the icebergs in there. They'll get up on them. They'll push them around when we break them up in the pool. So to um, simulate that in the summertime, we like to make them ice treats. Um, which we actually do all year round, but we try to do more often in the summer. We'll put fish inside them, or sometimes little bits of some other food, sometimes sweet potato or carrot. Um, today we're giving them an ice treat. So they'll push this around and play with it till it completely melts in their pool. Um, they'll dive, um, they'll pass it on and off to each other. They love ice treats. Um, they, we will freeze fish in them as well as some other little bits of food. Sometimes their meat or sometimes little bits of their sweet potato or carrot, some of their other healthy treats. Um, so I'm going to throw this in there. You ready, Annie? Let's see, she'll go right after it. And here comes Mort to investigate too. Today we only have one. Sometimes we give them two so they each get one. They have a really thick coat. Um, so they are highly adapted to the winter as well with that. So when they jump in the pool in the winter and um, they have the icebergs and everything in there, um, they have one of the thickest coats of all mammals. I believe it's about 100,000 um hairs per inch so and they actually have a double coat so it's like wearing a, a fleece liner and then putting your winter coat on top of it as well and that also helps um keep protect them from the water it's like kind of like a, a dry suit that they have on so you guys um saw how they love ice treats today we challenge you to make your own ice treats at home just get an ice cube container. You guys can fill it up with water or juice, put different kinds of fruit or some of your favorite treats in there. Um, when it's all frozen, you could uh, put it up in, in a drink or just a bowl, see how it freezes, how it floats and push it all around and be like the otters. Tell us all about your creation and hashtag CMC Zoo School. We can't wait to see your hashtag.